Hey there friends, should you write a book chapter or a journal article? Now this may be different in different scientific fields from mine, which is more ecology, environmental science, but in our field the answer is quite clear. A journal article should always be preferred over a book chapter. In my field, book chapters are generally considered um, a less favorable choice than a peer-reviewed journal article. And here are the reasons why. The first reason is the book, and therefore the book chapter, may take quite a while to appear because the editor of that volume has, of course, to wait until all the book chapters have been completed by the various authors. And then there may be um, additional processing and maybe peer review and also production. So it may take quite a while for the book to appear. And if you are in a fast moving field, that is a significant disadvantage over a journal article. Now, of course, journal articles also can take <laughs> quite a while to appear, but that's mostly up to you and the editorial office handling this. Uh, and there's no inherent reason why it would take a while. So if you're in a fast moving field, I think the choice is very clear. Publish a journal article, not a book chapter. Second reason is the peer review status of book chapters is typically unclear. Now, this may be unfair in a particular situation when actually a book chapter goes through a rather thorough peer review process that is comparable to what you would expect in some journal articles. But generally, book chapters have the reputation that they are not very thoroughly peer reviewed and some of them are not peer reviewed at all. They're just contributed. And so that means that when you have your list of publications, the book chapter is not listed under the peer-reviewed publications. And that, of course, is a significant disadvantage. The third one is citations. Book chapters are often not indexed. So the, you will not find them in Web of Science, for example. And so therefore, the citations that the book chapter can receive, and of course, book chapters are also cited, just like books are, uh, they will not readily show up on your profile, basically. And so if that's important to you, then you should go for a journal article. And the fourth and last one is open access. So many journal articles, by virtue of publishing agreements with your institution or your country or whatever, can appear open access. Books, of course, can also be open access, but generally books tend to not be open access. And so therefore, if that's important to you, a book chapter can be a worse choice compared to a journal article. Now, those are all significant reasons why you would not want to publish a book chapter, right? Because, I mean, the, the question you have to ask yourself, I have a limited pool of time and energy, and where do I put that time and energy? Do I put it rather into a book chapter or rather into a journal article? This is the question you should be asking yourself, not am I writing a book chapter? And so, given that there are still a few reasons why I think you might be opting for a book chapter. And those are the following. The first one is maybe there is a volume coming out or planned where a lot of the leading figures in your field are contributing chapters. And thus it may really be to your advantage to be part of that collection, to be seen with these colleagues basically in a book, especially if it promises to be a very important book. I think in that situation, it's reasonable to opt for putting that energy in that book chapter because that book most likely is gonna be widely read. And the second reason is maybe that book is going to be a very unusual collection of interdisciplinary or transdisciplinary works and you may really see value in being included in that collection. For example, if it's scientists and artists or if it's engineers and sciences or any kind of interesting collection, maybe also been between more practical and more theoretical works. And the reason that is, is that it, you may have some added benefits for being part of that collection uh, because that book maybe is going to be seen by completely different audiences than what normally would be the audience for your output. One example is, for example, if you're interested in reaching a more practical audience and there is a book being planned that addresses that more direct application <laughs> of a particular field, and this is not something on which you've actually worked before, then by including <laughs> a chapter in that particular book, you can at least showcase your interest in that applied sort of things as well, even though you haven't previously worked with it. But in your book chapter, you can basically 
lay the theoretical foundations, for example, for such applications. So I think that might be a very good reason to write a book chapter. <laughs> and last reason, some people just really just love books and therefore they, they love the idea of contributing a chapter to a book. And if this is you, go for it. By all means, live out your passions. But you should keep in mind the points I've mentioned above that we all have a limited pool of time and energy and it is important where you put that. I hope you found this helpful in making an informed decision about whether to write a book chapter or not. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, especially if you've had some interesting experiences with book chapters. And with that, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.